Okay, this is Steve from Chief Skills. <clears throat> Let's talk about window lintels. I've done a little house here just to get things going, but um, double hung windows. I'm going to turn the shadows off here just so we can see it a little clearer. And these windows don't have lint lintels, but um, let's just uh, see what we can do here. You can make any molding a lintel. So if you say use exterior lintel, look at, I open the window, went to lintel, I go to the library. There really are no defined lintels in this list right here. Um, so really any molding can be a lintel, like one of these picture rails right here could be a lintel. Um, any of these, let's see here. If I'm looking for something that might actually work pretty well. Well, let's just take, for instance, this right here. So if I said that's a, that's a lintel, you can see it's tiny because the only thing you can really change is the width here. So if we made this, and that really means the height. So say I made it 12, it'll just stretch it out vertically. It doesn't give you a place to stretch it in the depth, which I don't know why they don't, but they don't. So um, it you know you almost have to define your own. Um, I mean you can't even use a stack molding, and I don't think there's even a lintel in the um, in the bonus catalog. Say there's really not. So um, what about in here um, in like doors? I don't think there really is. So anyway, I, I don't think there is. So what I've done is I've just made my own. Um, and how, how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. It's so simple, it's kind of scary. But let's just say you want a lintel that is like eight inches tall with a little piece of crown mold on it. Just use a poly line like this, go up here and go, I got my snaps on, but let's say you go one inch by eight. There you go. I'm gonna turn my snaps off here. And then <clears throat> go into your library and go to architectural and moldings and go to crown and pick a crown mold that you think will work. Now, I think you'd want something with a back on it, but even if you don't, Let's just say you want to use, I don't know, CA34 is pretty common. So go into the catalog here, right click and say place molding profile right here and drop it in right there. Then take this, I would draw like a little construction line right here and then move this using point to point right down to here and then use point to point again and pull this over to here and then just click on this line and drag it back to there. And you've got your lintel. Now, it looks a little like the crown is too big, so why don't we just make this 10? So I'll go minus two here. I hit my tab to get that. And um, there you have it. So now you can click here and click here, select those two moldings and come down here and say add as a stacked molding which is not necessary. So personally, what I would do is I'd click on these two and I would use this right here, Polyline Union. Click that, delete the original, then click on it and say add to library. And it'll put it in as a molding and then change it to, I'm gonna add a couple things here so I can find it real easy. Lintel for chief skills, okay? Now, if we go back here to the window, okay, and we open it and we say Linel, use exterior loan, go to library, go to user and chick pick this out, okay. Now we know it's 10 inches, so just type in 10 and you have a Linel. Now, if you want it to wrap, click wrap and you see I've got three and a half inch casing, I think, so let's just say three. Yeah, there you go. And you have your Linel. It's that simple and you have it forever in your library. And um, even if you go here, well, here, let me do it on this one. Go here 
and you say use exterior lintel and you go library. I've done this before and I think if you choose this like let's just choose base molding CA001 okay and make it 10 all right click OK now if you go in this library you can actually replace see this little symbol right here replace from library and you click on it you've got it now you just have to make sure it wraps and go three and a half and that's it so whatever lintel you design, you can just do that with. Let's let's say you want to have a, a little piece down here at the bottom that sticks out. Say about, I don't know, I'm just eyeballing this. Now you've got a whole new one right here. So I would do again Polyline Union, delete original, uh, add to library. Cop I'm going to copy this. And then rename this and I'm going to call it BB. Now we go to our perspective overview and I've got this one right here. Let's go change it to vector. And I go in here and I click this replace from library. There you go. That's how easy it is. So quick tip, window lintels. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.